The more I stare at this piece is the more I love it. Using all metallic in today's painting, it's just wonderful. It's amazing. The dark colors with a bit of highlight from the white and the touch of gold in here is a beautiful color combination. I call this piece Dark Fairy. Check out today's creation video. You're going to love it. Hello everyone, this is your girl Camille. I want to say welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys check out my intro. I have another collaboration coming up this Thursday, September the 29th with me and three other talented Canadian poor painting artists. All right guys, and we will be using colors that inspire us, you know, for fall. So it's going to be like a fall color theme. You know, so do come back and check us out on Thursday, guys. I'll be going on first at 6.45 p.m. All right, so do check us out. It's going to be epic. All right, this is our first time working together using fall colors. So let's talk about today's painting. I'm using the same color combination here that I did on a previous video. Just using some dark colors here, you know, white, black, some silver and of course a custom mix color which is like purple mixed with uh, black and these colors are all metallic all right so you can do go ahead and check in my description box the name of the paints I'm using just you know just using colors where you know how they're gonna interact with with each other you know sometimes when you use dark colors sometimes people are afraid of using black in their pores and you just want to see how they're going to react, you know. So guys, don't be afraid of trying dark colors, you know, and um, just go for it, okay. I added a bit of gold in today's painting. So in my previous video, I didn't add gold to it, but this time I wanted to add some gold. And I just wanted to see how the gold was going to react with this color combination. Really happy I did that because it turned out the outcome of today's painting is just amazing it's just different I do see a lot of images in there that's one of the reasons why I decided to call this one my dark fairy I see like Maleficent dancing in there I see images of a dragon in here I see so much I see wings the gold in here gave me like a fiery look and all these colors are so significant in today's painting I love to Whenever I do a piece, I love to um, use colors that mean something to me, okay? And I do love my black and I do love, you know, mixing my colors where I can see how they really interact and how they really speak to me as an artist because I'm telling you guys, I like to challenge myself and I like to, you know, just wonder because it's all about that one of my viewers said that to me. She said, you know what, Camille, it's the element of surprise. So I like that. I like, you know, to play with colors and to, like I mentioned, see how it's going to interact. Okay. And because this one is a Dutch pour blowout spin art, I really want to create some cells in here. Uh, so I went and used that pewter by the Extreme Sheen by Decker Art. And I'm telling you guys, it's such a beautiful paint. Um, beautiful color to create cells. I mean, these extreme sheen paint, they're beautiful. All right, so guys, I really do hope you check it out. It's very different. And like I mentioned, I, it's so much, listen guys, okay, I know I'm using the black paint here and it has different meaning to a lot of people. But for me, black really means strength. Okay, guys, and it means endurance, okay? How much can you endure? How strong are you? You know, be resilient. You know, get up and um, keep going. 
this is what this piece is all about and this is why i i definitely call it my dark fairy um dancing or rising or whatever it is because sometimes people look at darkness as something bad but it's really not you know and i it's so much going on in this piece that it's one of my favorite i i love it i um like i was mentioning earlier that uh it's all about i see maleficent in here okay i see the power of a queen in here i see so much i see her wings i see the dragon i see like a lot is really going on in this piece and you know guys honestly and this is why i fell in love with art and this is why i love abstract art is because you know the paint really speaks for itself okay you can work on a piece and even the artist who uses a paintbrush uses a pellet knife all those other tools the, the more they work on their work the more they do their painting and i mean it's an abstract piece and you could be watching them work and you're saying to yourself okay i, can, I see it now it's finished and then they keep adding more paint they keep going they keep adding more layers they keep going it's because you know what they're in the zone and they're in that mood and they just want to see more colors and they just want to see how the colors react and this is why i can mention i do love abstract art and the fluid art is just amazing because you mix your colors you pour them on the canvas and you watch how they react and they they um the fluid paint they're actually their own tools they are their paintbrush they are they are their pellet knife they are everything that a traditional artist would get up and use. You know what I mean? So you put the paint on canvas and it speaks for itself. And I just love it. And I'm so in love. Okay. I uh, So much is happening in here. Guys, can you see the dragon? Can you see Maleficent Horn? Can you see her wing? What do you see in this piece? Can you see flames? You know? And of course, the purple mixed with the black is just amazing. You know, you could actually call this the two sides of uh, Maleficent. You know, you could see her pure heart. You could see her goodness in this. I see so much. I see her dancing. I see her flying. I see, you know, so much movement in this piece. The more I spin, I actually see Maleficent's gown. I see her walking. I see her gliding. It's just so amazing. I honestly, guys, I'm just so in love. This piece, I don't mind if it stays with me forever. I would put it up in my home and just look at it and just be amazed. Um, you know, but of course, like I mentioned, guys, all of my artwork, you know, are available for purchase. But as an artist, when we do have our piece and when we do have to let it go, you know, we know that it's going to go to someone that really appreciates it. But at the same time, guys, if it stays with us, we love it. Okay. And uh, we love our work. And... We just want to share it with you, our viewers. And if you do decide to try this, guys, remember to make it your own. Yes, I do tutorials, but at the same time, this is also a demo video, you know. So just go ahead and make it your own. Here it is, um, the close-up of the wet result. And I'm just loving the color combination in here. That pewter really sells up. And of course, that um, purple mixed with the black is just amazing in here. The white highlights from that uh, metallic white is just beautiful. The gold, a touch of gold in here is just so beautiful. Loving this piece. It is just elegant. Loving it, loving it, loving the cells. Loving the movements in here. So much happening. You know, like I mentioned, Maleficent is walking. She's also flying at the same time. It's just so much happening in here. The more I spin it, the more I see different images. What do you guys see? Let me know what you see in this piece in the comment section, guys. I really want to know how this makes you feel. And of course, guys, here it is dried and hanging on my fireplace. Beautiful. It dried well. Loving the details in here. Loving how I'm seeing the dragon off to my left, if you guys can see that. And I'm loving how I'm seeing Maleficent horns in here. I'm loving how I'm seeing her wings. It's just so beautiful. Let me know how this one makes you feel, guys. Let me know in the comment section. And of course, 
thank you so much for sticking around with me all the way to the end and i will see you guys next time on camila moy art bye